Um, hi, Mr. Gumpel. It's Frankie. Uh, this is my second video slash recording for the um, nervous system jigsaw puzzle project, and I've decided to do it on the Navy SEALs uh, training for coping with fear and how to override your amygdala and help your frontal lobes make decisions faster and more effectively. Okay, so um, here we have me during my first diastasis, and this is the uh, 100 meter breaststroke. It's my first final of diastasis. I barely made the finals by like a half a second, and it, it's really um, it's a scary time for me because um, I didn't expect this. I'm in the finals of a swim meet that I didn't even know I was gonna get to go to, and it's a situation that I've never even faced before. And it's a really scary time for me because my brain is saying, we haven't been in this position before. There's so much pressure, we don't know what to do. And so my amygdala, like this, has basically said, you know what, we're in charge of emotions for the body and we don't know what to do, so we're going to send out a panic signal or a signal saying to your body, okay, you need to be afraid now because we don't know what to do and we're afraid. So the body is going to be afraid your brain's afraid and therefore you're very afraid of the situation what I need to do right now is for my uh, frontal lobes to kick in and my frontal lobes need to say okay Frankie you're going to swim this race and you're going to win or you're going to do well you're going to swim the race basically and that's what my frontal lobes need to do my frontal lobes are in charge of rational thought problem-solving basically making the right decisions in my body. And for the frontal lobes to make the right decisions though, they need to be able to get the information and process the information properly. This is the problem though. Um, the amygdala, it receives information almost twice as fast as the frontal lobes. So information is going to get to the amygdala a lot faster and the amygdala is going to have a lot more time uh, to process the information or not to process the information and send out a panic signal. So there's a gap between my amygdala sending out a panic signal and the frontal lobe receiving the information. So basically the frontal lobe sa sees, oh my god, the amygdala is sending out a fear signal. What is it sending out a fear signal for? We don't have information. And then eventually the, the frontal lobe will get the information and will be able to process fear. But for a certain period of time, you're going to be very afraid. What I need right now is to find a way to get my uh, frontal lobes to process the information faster. To get the information from the sensory neurons to the frontal lobes and be able to get it to process the information and make the right choices faster. This is where Navy SEAL um, training techniques for fear come in. Um, of the four techniques that are mentioned in the video, I use three of them. I use self-talk. I use visualization and I use goal setting. I use the visualization and I use self-talk for when I am behind the blocks or when I'm on the blocks and I'm trying to get ready for a race. And I use goal setting for when I'm in the pool and I'm racing. Basically, of the first one, uh, the first ones, goal setting, goal setting coming later. I use self-talk the most then visualization. Basically, self-talk. I'm just saying to myself simple things like. Okay, you're going to do well. You're going to win the race. You're going to get better time than you have had before. You're going to have fun. You're going to dive in the pool. You're going to do whatever you can do. And it needs to be positive because that helps to calm down your amygdala. You're telling yourself, okay, yeah, positive things. You're not afraid. You're going to do well. And that's showing the amygdala, wait a second, do we really need to be afraid at this point? Or should we calm down a little bit? And it really helps because you're calming yourself down. You're finding a way to, you know, convince yourself that you're not afraid, that you're going to do well. And then the second technique is visualization. And that's basically just thinking about yourself doing something. You know, playing a movie in your head of you winning the race, of you diving in the pool, of you just swimming the race, right? And that really helps because of the fact, like, you're able to see what you need to do, what you need to do to accomplish it, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And I, I like to use the analogy that it's a lot easier to find something if you know what you're looking for 
right? So if I have a room full of random stuff, and I don't know what I'm looking for, well, it's going to be pretty hard to find. But if I know I'm looking for a tennis ball, well, it's going to be a lot easier. Not necessarily easy, but you know what you're looking for. And that's the same thing with swimming. I know what I'm trying, what I need to do in swimming. I know I need to jump in the pool, and I know I need to swim properly. And I need to swim quickly. And that's basically what I need to do in swimming. And so, basically, the turning point of this, where the frontal lobe takes control, is when I jump in the pool. When you jump in the pool, there's no real turning back. I mean, you could jump out of the pool. I mean, you could jump in the pool and you could climb out. But nobody does that. I mean, you basically won the battle by then. You decided, okay, I'm going to jump in the pool. And that's when the frontal lobe has said, okay, this is the smart decision. We're going to get in the pool and we're going to make the right decision for you. And basically, that's what's going to happen. It's going to say, okay, you're going to jump in the pool because that's what you're supposed to do right now. And that's when the amygdala has said, okay, well, we're not going to send out panic signal anymore. And basically, by the time you're swimming the race, right, you're, you're basically out of fear. I mean, when you're in the pool, once you've jumped in the pool, you're not afraid anymore. I mean, you're tired. It's a, it's a grueling race. Swimming is not an easy sport. The races aren't fun. They're, they're exhausting. They're tiring. But they're not, they're not fearful. You're not afraid when you're racing. But I do use one of the fear techniques when I'm racing a race because of the fact that it really helps me to do well in the race. And that technique is goal setting. I set a simple goal for myself whenever I get in the pool. Usually that goal is, okay, Frankie, you're going to beat the guy next to you. All right? That guy next to you, no chance for you. You're going to beat him, okay? And that's basically what I do. I mean, I, I try my hardest to beat the guy next to me, and that's the main goal I set. And it really helps. It's helped my time improve a lot. The guy next to me is really good competition, usually, and it, it really helps, especially when I'm a freshman racing a senior. If I'm trying to keep up with a senior, then it's really going to help my time. And, yeah, these techniques really do pay off. I mean, everyone on this metal podium has used these techniques. Um, look at this guy. He's won the race. He's obviously visualized himself winning the race. He's obviously no thought in his head, okay, you know what, I'm going to beat the guy next to me. He's beat this guy, and he's beat this guy. So, obviously, the guy's next to him, I mean, he's tried his hardest, and he's told himself, okay, you're going to beat that guy. He's set the goal that he's going to win. And he's taught himself that over and over again using self-talk. He said, okay, you're going to win, you're going to win, you're going to win. He's convinced himself that he's going to win. And that's why he's up there and he's won the race. I mean, these techniques really do help a lot. They've helped countless number of people with swimming and countless number of people with other event, other things, such as Navy SEAL training. It just really helps to set goals, uh, to visualize yourself winning, and to encourage yourself. It just helps in pretty much anything, especially with getting rid of fear in sports. Yeah, thank you.